So whatever is the data given, so this median is considered as the middle most value of the data. So L1 plus N by 2 minus CF divided by F into I. So this is the most important formula. So whatever values are given here, so I have written it in the ascending order. Hello everyone, I am Purnima, faculty in the Department of Commerce and Management, Vidyashram First Rate College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. I welcome you all to this session. In this session, we will be having a discussion on what is median, the second measure of central tendency. So in this unit 2, measures of central tendency, we will be studying about what is mean, what is median and what is mode. So these are all considered the measures of central tendency. Now in the previous sessions, I had a discussion on arithmetic mean. Now in this session, we will be having a discussion on what is the median. So median, what is the median? Median is the value of team that goes to divide the series into equal parts. So it is that value which divides the team into equal parts. So whatever is the data given, so this median is considered as the middle most value of the data. So median may be defined as the value of the item which divides the series into two equal parts. So one half contains values as greater than it, then the other half containing values less than it. So therefore, the series has to be arranged in ascending or descending order before finding the median. In other words, arranging is necessary to compute the median. So whenever we have to calculate the median, so we should understand that median is the middlemost part of the given data. This is the first thing. Second one is the median divides the data into two equal parts. So one set of values will be greater than the median, the other set of the values will be less than the median. And thirdly, if you have to find the median, then you have to see that the median is uh, the whatever the values are given, it is arranged in the ascending or the descending order. So that becomes more important. So while finding the median, we have to find out whether they are in the ascending or the descending order. In other words, arranging is necessary to compute the median. So whenever we are calculating the median, we have to take these three things into consideration. Now. Let us have a look at well, how do we just calculate the median. So in this problem, the x values are given. So what are the x values? 10, 15, 9, 25 and 19. So if I write it in the column form, it will be 9, 10, 15, 19 and 25. So whatever values are given here, so I have written it in the ascending order. The smallest value I have written here, then the second one, third one, fourth one and fifth one. So the values are in the ascending order and then we decide what is the median. So how do we decide the median? Median equals size of n plus 1 divided by tooth item. So n denotes the number of values. So what is n here? n is the number of values given. So how many values are given here? 5. So n equals 5. So we have a formula here, the size of n plus 1 by tooth item. So there are 5 values given here. So I'm writing 5. 5 plus 1 divided by 2. So 5 plus 1 divided by 2 is 6, 6, this is equal to 6 divided by 2, that is I am getting the answer as 3. So the median relates to the third item. So the third item is 15. So that is why we say that median is 15. So third item is 15. So 15 is the answer. And but 3 is not the answer. So we should remember that. So this median, it shows the position of the value only and we should write the answer as the value itself. 
not the position. So, median stands in the third position. So, we are writing 15 as the median. So, in the next problem. So, we have one more problem here. So, find out the median from the following. So, 57, 58, 61, 42, 38, 65, 72, 66. So, we have so many values here. Now, which is the smallest value here? 38. So, I have written 38 here. So, next to the next highest to this is 42. I have written here. So, the next in the order comes as 57, then 58, then 61, 65, 66, 72. So, this again I have written it in the ascending order. So, ascending order I have just put the values. Now, I have to make use of the formula. Now, what is the formula? Median equals size of n plus 1 by tooth item. So, this is equal to 8. So, how many values are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 values. So, 8 values. So, n equals 8. n equals 8. So, Instead of writing n, I substitute with, with 8. 8 plus 1 divided by 2. So, that is 4.5 item. So, the size of 4.5th item. What is the size? In the previous problem, it, we got a whole number. That is the third item. But here, we are getting a decimal. So, the median lies somewhere in between these two values. That is 4 and 5. So, we got the answer as 4.5th item. So, when we are getting this uh, values in decimal, so we have to add again the 4th item and the 5th item. Now, what is the 4th item here? 58 and the 5th item is 61. So, 58 plus 61 divided by 2. So, 59.5, this is the median value. This is the value of the median. So, in this way, first thing is we have to count what are the number of values, then arrange it in the ascending order, then apply the formula. So, when you apply the formula, we get to know the position of the median. So, the median lies between 4 and 5. So, 4.5. So, that is the exact position of the median. So, when you get a decimal, you have to add both the values. Fourth item and fifth item divided by 2, we get 59.5, which is the median. Now, here we have one more illustration here. So, locate the median from the following. Now, in the previous two examples, we have seen that they gave only values. There were no frequency at all. So, when only values are given, it will be easy for us. We can just rearrange the values and then apply the formula and then find the median. But then, when the values are given along with the frequency, how do we calculate the median? So, we have the size of shoes here. So, frequency is 10. The size 5.5, it is 16, 28, 15, 30, 40, 34. So, this is the data given relating to the size of shoes and also the frequency. Now, in this, we can see how you just calculate the median here. So, calculation of median size of shoes. So, where you are given the size of shoes here and the frequency also is given. So, when this is the case, what should we do? We have to find the CF. So, this is 10, I write as it is, then 10 plus 16. So, 10 plus 16 comes up to 26. Then uh, 26 plus 28. So, plus 26, I get the answer as 54. Then plus 54. So, 54 plus 15, I get 69. Plus 69, I get the answer as 99. Plus 99, I get the answer as 139. Then plus 139, I get the answer as 173. So, this process, so this column relates to the CF or we call it as the CF or the cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency. Now, what is this cumulative frequency where 
all the values of the frequency are added up. So, 10 plus 16 is 26, 26 plus 28 is 54. So, we add all the values. So, I get the total as n equals 173. So, how do I find the median? So, median equals size of n plus 1 by tooth item. Again, the same formula is applicable here. The size of 173 plus 1 divided by 2. So, I get it as 174 divided by 2. That is the 87th item. So, uh, here 173 plus 1, so I get it as 173 plus 1 divided by 2, it is 174 divided by 2, that is 87th item. So, the size of the 87th item. So, this 87th item represents the position of the median. So, they have given us here. So, we how do we just uh, find out the 87th item? So, we can, if you can search in this CF column. So, we have here this 69th value. So, up to 6.5 is the 69th value. Then in the 7th, we have 99. So, the median lies between after 69. So, it lies in this uh, slot here. So, from 70 to 99, all the median values, all the values, they are falling in the number 7. So, the size of the 87th item is 7. So, 7 is the median. So, when we are given any values with the frequency, first thing is you calculate the cumulative frequency. So, you calculate the cumulative value of the frequency and then, so you just add all the numbers here, all the frequency numbers, then whatever is the number total you are getting. So, that 173, you add it. So, you just substitute in the formula. So, the size of 173 plus 1 divided by 2 is the 87th item. The size of the 87th item. So, you have to check. So, what is the 87th item? Where does it lie? So, it lies in this item. So, 7 is the answer. So, 173 plus 1 divided by 2. So, 174 divided by 2, I get 87. So, 87 is the number here. Next, let, let us see here the calculation of median, the continuous series. Now, up till now, we could see the discrete series and now, how do we calculate the median in the continuous series? So, median equals L1 plus N by 2 minus CF divided by F into I. So, L1 plus N by 2 minus CF divided by F into I. So, here L1 represents the lowest limit of the median class. So, L1 means the lowest limit of the median class. F is the frequency of the median class. So, what is, what is the frequency we have to write? Then CF is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class and the total of frequency of the lower class. So, this is the total frequency of the lower class, I is the class interval of the median class. So, we have the formula here, M represents the median and here, so L1 plus N by 2 minus CF divided by F into I. So, this is the most important formula which we should remember whenever class interval is given to find out the median. So, we have a problem here. Calculate the median from the following table. So, here instead of giving values, they have given us the class interval. So, 10 to 25, 25 to 40, 40 to 55, 55 to 70. 70 to 85, 85 to 90. So, we have also, they have also given us the frequency of each of the classes. Now, let us work out this problem where the class interval is given. So, the class interval is 10 to 25, 25 to 40, 40 to 55, 55 to 70, 70 to 85, 85 to 90. Now, we have also given the frequency here 6, 20, 24, 26, 3 and 1. So, we have to find the CF here. So, how do we find the CF? Add all the values. Now, 6 plus 20, 26. 
plus 44 is 70, plus 26 is 96, plus 3 is 99, plus 1 is 100. Now, we have to find the median class. How do we find the median class? So, the total frequency divided by 2. So, 100 divided by 2 is 15. So, the median item lies in the 40 to 55 group. So, how do we identify that? See, up to 26 frequency, it lies in between 25 to 40. Now, after 26, up to 70, all the values are lying in this class interval. So, 40 to 55. So, this becomes the median class. Now, I have to substitute the values here. So, median equals L1 plus N by 2 minus CF divided by F into I. So, N by 2 minus CF divided by F into I. So, L plus L1 plus N by 2. So, L1 is 40, that is the lower limit of the median class. N by 2 is 50, CF is 26, F is 44, I equals 15. So, median will be equal to 40 plus 50 minus 26 divided by 2 into 15. So, I get when I simplify this, so 50 minus 26 is 24 divided by 2 into 15. So, when I simplify this, I get the answer as 8.18. So, I add it to the lower limit of the median class. So, 48.18. So, this is the median. So, the median of the given problem is 48.18. So, it divides the entire distribution table into two equal parts. With this, we come to the end of this session. Hope you have all followed. Thank you.